गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट थ्री सेम इक्वेशन सॉल्व द फॉलोइंग इक्वेशन आई हैव टेकन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स सेवन एंड नाइन टूडे वी लर्न दिस थ्री क्वेश्चन एट एक्स प्लस फोर एंड थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाई दिस ब्रैकेट यू कैन लोक इन फर्स्ट चैप्टर वी हैव ऑलरेडी रेड अबाउट डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी दिस इज योर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाई एक्स एंड थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाय वन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल ओपन ब्रैकेट एट एक्स प्लस फोर थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाय एक्स थ्री एक्स एंड थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाय प्लस वन तो थ्री वन दी सेम एज आई टोल्ड यू शिफ्ट ऑल द वेरियबल टू दन साइड दिस इज योर एट एक्स एंड दिस थ्री एक्स आई विल शिफ्ट दिस विल बिकम माइनस थ्री एक्स थ्री प्लस सेवन टेन एंड दिस फोर आई विल शिफ्ट इन इट विल बिकम माइनस फोर एट एक्स माइनस थ्री एक्स इज इक्वल टू फाइव एक्स एंड टेन माइनस फोर इज इक्वल टू सिक्स सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू सिक्स अपॉन फाइव योर आंसर सेम वे यू कैन सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन ऑल्सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर अपॉन फाइव मल्टीप्लाई बाय एक्स प्लस टेन दिस इज ऑल्सो डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी यू विल मल्टीप्लाई दिस ब्रैकेट बाय योर न्यूमरेटर फोर नॉट बाय न्यूमरेटर सो एक्स is equal to 4 upon 5 multiply by x you can check like this 4 upon 5 multiply by x will give you 4x upon 5 so here 4x upon 5 again 4 upon 5 multiply by 10 so 5 to the 10 4 to the 8 you can write 40 upon 5 also you can write 8 also plus 8 Now this question you will solve by taking LCM. You can shift your values, then take LCM, or first you can take LCM, then shift your values. You will get the right answer. So first I am taking LCM. Nothing is there means one. LCM of five and one is five. So here four x plus in table of one, one five is five, five is the forty. Cross multiply. 5 into x, 5x is equal to 4x plus 40. When you shift 4x here, 5x minus 4x is equal to 40. So x is equal to 40. This is your answer. Third question. This ninth one. This ninth question we will learn by two methods. How? Shift your values. 2y. This minus y when I am shift here, it will become plus y. Twenty six upon three minus five upon three. Five upon three shifted from left to right. Two y plus y is equal to three y. Denominator are same, so LCM will also same. LCM of three and three is three. So twenty six minus five is equal to twenty one upon three. Three sevens are twenty one. So what is remaining? Only seven. So three y is equal to seven, or you can say y is equal to seven upon three. Or when you change it into mixed fraction, three to the six, remainder one and three. This is your answer. Same question you can solve with the help of second method. How you can solve? First, I am writing question two y. Plus five upon three is equal to twenty six upon three minus y. Nothing is there means one. What is the denominator? One three three one. When I take LCM of denominator one three three one. When you take LCM of this number, you will get LCM three only. So multiply your every term. Multiply your every term by three. Three multiply by two y plus three multiply by five upon three equal to three multiply by twenty six upon three. This is another method. And last minus three multiply by y. I have taken this minus here. So three to zero six y three to three cancel five. Again, three to three cancel, twenty-six, 
एंड इज माइनस थ्री वाई माइनस थ्री वाई वेन यू शिफ्ट माइनस थ्री वाई इट विल बिकम प्लस थ्री वाई एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स माइनस फाइव सिक्स प्लस थ्री नाइन वाई ट्वेंटी सिक्स माइनस फाइव ट्वेंटी वन y is equal to 21 upon 9. Reduce it into simplest form. 3 is 7 जब 21, 3 3 is 9. 7 upon 3. Here also you got 7 upon 3. When you change it into mixed fraction, 3 to the 6, remainder 1 and 3. This is your solution. You know how to change it into mixed fraction. The rest of the question try to solve by yourself. Hello students. Now we will solve exercise. 2.4. This exercise is also based on word problem. Question number two. In this exercise, I will solve all even number question. Question number two. A positive number is five times another number. If 21 is added to both the number, then one of the new number become twice the other new number. What are the numbers? In such type of word problem, you have to face many complication. So read your question very carefully before starting. Try to understand the question. A positive number is five times another number. So first of all, I will assume another number. Let the another number be x. I have assumed let the another number be. I have assumed this number. Let the another number be x, and the positive number is five times. So the positive number will be your positive number will be five times. Five times means x multiplied by five. So it will become five x. If twenty one is added to both the number, when Twenty one is added to both the number. When you add twenty one to both the number, so your number number will become. This is your another number. So your another number will be x plus twenty one, and your positive number. Will be five x plus twenty one. This statement is very important. If twenty one is added to both the number, then one of your new number, which is new number, this is new number. So according to your question, your new number will become twice. Your new number will become twice the Another number, other new number. So what is the other new number? This is your another number. New number is five x plus twenty one. And other new number is x plus twenty one. Now solve it. Five x plus twenty one. Two multiply by x two x. Two multiply by twenty one. Forty two. Shifting. Five x minus two x. 42 minus 21, 5x minus 2x is 3x, and this is 21. So x is equal to 21 upon 3. So your x is 7. So what are the numbers? We have to find numbers. So you have assume another number. That is x, and x you have find 7. So another number is seven, and your new number, your new number is five x. Five x means five multiplied by seven. So seven five is a thirty-five. These are the two two numbers. This is the solution of your question.